You know, whenever um, I write a status or make a video and my topic is black women, or I say something like, I absolutely adore black women, or my type is black women. You know, and this is where I see, I see total beauty, okay? There's, you know, there's always those comments or, you know, and they always come from white women. You know, for example, if I say, if I talk about a struggle that black women have, white women will say, but all women have had it rough and, you know, all women have had to struggle. And you're right. All women have been through struggles. Yeah, that's obvious. But black women and pretty much any woman of a darker skin tone other than creamy pink have a different type of struggle. Black women face the two most discriminatory factors in life, being a woman and being black. Women in general have a tough time making it in the so-called men's world, right? And we all know the struggles that being black like brings. But black women have got to deal with, you know, this discrimination from their own black men and from other people. Now, when a black woman is passionate and has standards, she's depicted as an angry black woman. But maybe black women are not angry and bitter. Maybe they're just frustrated. Maybe they've just had enough, right? Now, when something is for black women, some of you are not allowing them to just bask in it and just, you know, have it just for themselves. You want to take it away from them. But what about us? But what about us? Pick me, pick me, pick me. Like, you know what? It's not about you. Black women have been made invisible for centuries. You know, they're not even relevant unless society or the media chooses to see them. And even then, that's only when it suits them and under certain physical characteristics. Oh, your lips are in fashion now. Oh, okay, so we're going to talk about your lips. Oh, your ass? Yeah, that's in fashion now. You know? You know what? Women of other races, you know, they're always placed at a higher esteem than black women, and especially in the media. Why does everything have to be about you when sometimes you need to allow it to be about them? You know what? Let me explain what black women have to go through. Black women go through racism, rape, sexism, colorism, being devalued, told they're not even really human, prejudice, extreme sexualization, the fear of being fetishized if they date outside of their race, being degraded. So for you to turn around and say, but all women have it rough, or every woman has to struggle. But you know what? No, I'm sorry. Your struggle is not equal, not even in the slightest. Now, when I turn around and say, I absolutely adore black women, or black women are absolutely beautiful, why does it affect you? For you to turn around and say, oh no, but all women are beautiful. But this is my opinion. Everyone has a different opinion. I am uplifting black women. When I say black women are incredible, black women are beautiful, I haven't said white women are ugly, white women are terrible. I haven't said that. I'm uplifting without downgrading anybody else. But simply because I'm not uplifting you also, you get upset. When something is about or for black women, why don't you just let it be for them? No more, oh, what about us? What about us? Or all women are beautiful and all women struggle. Listen, come on, man. Stop deflecting the issues. Let it remain about black women. And how about if you believe in equality, that you actually acknowledge the struggles of a black woman? You know, for what it is, instead of trying to deflect the spotlight off of, you know, them and onto you. They've got a deeper struggle than any other race, period. This is not my opinion, okay? This is historical and present fact. And you know, along with having to have these struggles, they've also had to be what every other woman is and was. And that's a woman. Their struggle is totally different to yours. It's a struggle within a struggle. 
These women are not only women, but they're black. Think about it. So when you turn around and say, but all women are beautiful, Angel. You know what? Right now, we're celebrating black beauty and the black struggle, okay? And you know what? Let me just elaborate briefly. It's almost like people have seen black women struggling so much throughout history and time that it's like y'all have basically become so used to it. Nobody seems to have their back or defend them the way other races uh, of women or groups of people get defended, you know, and I'm not deluded. Believe me, I understand that there are some, you know, black and Afro Latino women that don't act in a good way. Right. But instead of reminding them that they're queens and that they can be better and they have so much more potential, we ridicule them and say shit like, oh, you a bitch, so I treat you like one. Right. Or, you know, think about it. Maybe we should say, you know what, you're better than that. It's about positivity and uplifting, right? So, dear white women, the next time I write a post about black women or a video about black women, just recognize it as this one is not for you. This is for them. Let them enjoy this. Because in all honesty and actuality, Black women don't get the same type of praise that white women get. Every day is your day, white women. But today is for black women. The beautiful, light-skinned, mixed, dark-skinned, brown-skinned, Afro-Latina black women. It's for them. So let them have that, all right? A struggle within a struggle. And to my beautiful black queens, I've got your back, all right? Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey, man, that's racist. Please remember that from now on, brand new, never-before-seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. ikyg.com is a black-owned, black-ran platform, 100% free from censorship. It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves. Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, find out all the tea, and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free, forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.